Hey guys, uh, Z4 looks a little different today, doesn't it? Uh, I took off the soft top and uh, actually, you know, one of the really main problems that uh, BMW has is that the soft top motor tends to go bad. Uh, and so I had to remove the soft top from the car in order to access the motor, which is actually located uh, right there. And so now the process is that I have to swap the motor out and then put the soft top back in. And sorry, I didn't... Uh, take a video of the process of removing the soft top. I wasn't even sure how long that would take. The process took about, I'd say half an hour. So it wasn't that bad. And now that the soft top is out, I wonder how light the car is actually. It should be under 3000 pounds now. So I will swap out the motor and then we'll have a functioning soft top again in a little bit. All right, so it turns out not to be the motor that is dead. Uh, that was actually working fine after a little bit of refurb. But look at this cable right here. So I think basically what happened is that as the top was opening and closing, it was fraying this. And so when I went to put the motor back in, hydraulic fluid was just leaking out and I couldn't figure out why. I thought it was, you know, usually at these joints at the end is where uh, hydraulic fluid leaks out. But in fact, this was just frayed, needed a new cable, breaking my wallet, AKA BMW decides to sell these for 160 bucks. So two little hydraulic cables, or hydraulic, I guess you call it hydraulic lines, uh, 160 bucks. So this is gonna get swapped and then the top's gonna go back into the car. Oh, after like four hours, I think, I finally got the top back in. And this is definitely a two-man job, so don't think that you could do this yourself. You definitely need a buddy. In my case, my dad was able to help me out uh, with the fitting. Uh, and make sure that you use painter's tape so that you don't scratch this up. Uh, and another thing you should know about is the roll bars. Um, actually, you'll see it when the top comes down. I unfortunately didn't protect them with something, and so they got all scratched up. But uh, fully functioning top now with a key fob. So with a key fob, you could basically set it up to have remote uh, top down and up function, but you have to actually hold the key fob for that case um, and it's done through the uh, NCS expert so I don't know if you could see it here you probably can it got scratched up this is definitely a noob mistake uh, but I'm just glad that the top is functioning again all it costed me was the hydraulic cables which wasn't cheap 160 bucks all right so closing it you just hold the lock button and it'll close on its own and that's it all right guys thanks for watching you guys have any questions about the process of removing the soft top or putting it back in just let me know i'm sorry that i wasn't able to get like videos and pictures while i was doing it i was just so wrapped up in trying to get it done because uh tonight i have somewhere to go yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.